My top three tips for the situational judgment subtest of the UK CAT are as follows. Firstly, know the rules. There are many different rules that apply to different characters or roles that you may be asked about during the situational judgment test. For example, you may be a medical student or a dental student, or you may be a junior doctor, or you may be a consultant doctor. For each one of these stages or experience levels, there are different rules that apply. For example, it would always be inappropriate for a medical student to prescribe medication for a patient on their own. My second tip is to think, what would a panel say? The answers for the UK CAT situational judgment subtest are made up by a panel of experts, from senior doctors to junior doctors to students. So at times during the SJT, you may think it's impractical or unlikely to be able to answer a question in that appropriate manner. However, think what the panel would say and err on the side of caution. So my recommendation, if you want to know more about what a panel would say, would be to head to the GMC duties of a doctor document. This is a really important document that outlines all the expectations of what a junior doctor or a medical student would have on them. For more information, I would head to the SJT section of our online UK CAT course, where we summarise a lot of these theories that are presented in this document. So thirdly, know how the marking works in the SJT. Unlike the other sections of the UK CAT, when it comes to the SJT, you can actually score points for getting a partial answer correct. So my recommendation would be if you're feeling stuck or that you're not sure what to put down, I would err towards the stronger argument choices such as A and D. If you pop those down, you're still likely to get some marks even if you don't get the full amount of marks for that question. 